People want to be fulfilled. They see, you know. Don't go down that road, folks. It's a bad road. It's a bad road. It's a dark road. Yeah. Fulfillment. I'm telling you right now, the happiness road, there's a lot of bodies in the wake. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm obviously kidding, but I'm half serious. I, I think people glorify um, that word. Happiness, they glorify it. They don't really know what it means. Mm-hmm. Like fulfillment and happiness are not the same. And success and happiness are obviously not the same, right? Mm-hmm. Being in love doesn't necessarily make you happy. It's a beautiful thing. But a lot of people are in love the way they're on drugs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you meet them, they're frantic, they're fighting. You know, some of the best relationships I've ever witnessed, and I mean best in the sense that they probably have the best sex, but half of the relationship, they hate each other. And they're on the phones with each other, and they're, the cops were at the apartment. <laughs> it's not necessarily, love isn't necessarily equated with happiness, mm-hmm. you know? Financial well-being is certainly not equated with happiness. Mm-hmm. Um, happiness is really a, a thing you can choose to do and be, and it's, it's worthwhile. Mm-hmm. But I do think people glorify that word, I just want to be happy. Uh, okay, what does that mean? I just want to be happy, man. Okay. See, the, the problem is we've, we've sold people on a bill of goods. Mm-hmm. We've told them all that they all have dreams mm-hmm. or uh, a, a, a vision and that the only thing missing is execution. This is the lie, mm. the lie, the, one of the big lies, is that it's all inside of them. The only thing they're missing is the plan. <laughs> That's the big lie. Yeah. It's one of the big lies we uh-huh. tell. Because may, people make a lot of money telling that lie, and I get it. And it's true for a few people, so the people that are telling the lie aren't lying to everyone. Mm-hmm. But the big lie is that it's in you. It lives in you, the thing. What? Well, they they get, it's pretty vague. They leave that out. But the thing, the business, the thing you want, the empire, all of it, the product, the service, it's in you. You got it. You want it. Do I? You do. (laughs) Do I want it? You do want it. And the only thing missing is execute. The only reason... Mm -hmm. Uh, that you're not uh, further is uh, you're lazy. You're just a fatty boom batty. <laughs> you're just eating breadsticks instead of doing it. What's it? Shh. It's in you. The money's in you. You're a pinata, but you don't know how to get into the inner core of yourself where all that money lives. You just need people to beat you with sticks in a backyard, and then the change comes out. Because it lives in you. So if you, if you uh, have that uh, thing where you go, oh, it's in me. It's in me. We've told everyone in this country that they're entrepreneurs, stars, athletes, thinkers, journalists. We've told everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, warriors. You're a warrior. We've told everyone... Uh, that they are all things at all times, no matter what. Mm-hmm. We've told them that nothing uh, really matters, not their character, not their track record, their work ethic, uh, their ability, uh, their intelligence, their IQ. Uh, their, uh, nothing really, really, truly matters uh, except uh, execution. Hustle it up. It's the only reason. We said geography doesn't matter, nothing matters. Where you born, who you were born into, crackhead burning with cigarettes in a closet, that doesn't matter. Shimmy on down to LA, be a star. And, and a few people will do that. And then a lot of people won't. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a glorification of the self. And what's interesting is the people that are the most successful are actually not the happiest. Why? Well, why? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's almost like uh, happiness might come from a, 
uh, community or family or social commitments to others. No, what? <laughs> Hold on. Fuck. You're melting my head. Yeah, so actually the, the most famous and rich people, you know, they're like not the happiest. Well, then w w the, the people that are happy live like a lot of times... When, when, when are people the happiest? I'll tell you that when I've observed people the happiest. They're kind of the happiest when they're like planning an event for other people and they're telling you how happy people are at the event and how happy uh, they do, whether it's in a small town or something like, you know, people really derive a sense of pride and joy and happiness from, you know, getting people together and building something that uh, potentially will outlast them, a uh, tradition something that people can really uh, look forward to and enjoy and it represents something. And a lot of times you see this, uh, uh, you know, in the simplest uh, form uh, with a family, uh, planning uh, where the uh, cradle and the crib is going to go and everything. And uh, even in, a, a, you know, a larger, uh, uh, you know, maybe it's a festival every year that a town does that people, you know, really get into or whether it's a, a big uh, sporting event or game or Whatever it is, people tend to be happy when they have social commitments to other people and things. It makes them feel like they're part of something bigger and larger than themselves. So the glorification of self at the expense of all other things, uh, these people end up locking themselves in ivory towers, and then they, we've met a lot of them, and they want to just, you know, start their own cities and pillage, destroy, rape, kill, <laughs> because there's not much left to do, right? I mean... What else are you going to do when you've given it all and they give you all the gold and yeah. you're sitting there on the on the ivory tower and you're just looking down at everybody else and you start obsessing over them and going, well, they're too fat or they're not fat enough. <laughs> Those are the two warring things in public health. Mm -hmm. you have people being like, they're too fat, these fat fatties. And then people going, they're not fat enough. Fat is beautiful. You're right. And it's, it's, it's also like, it's not your business what people do. That being said, you give somebody enough money and enough power, they'll never leave you alone. They meddle. They meddle. Bill Gates meddles. He's not done. He's not done with his $100 billion. He wants influence now. You see, because the money has lost its fun. I don't give a fuck what you do because the money's still fun to me. <laughs> But I guess when the money stops being fun, I got to look at you and go, what are you doing with your lives? You need my 10-point plan, you pigs. That's what happens. So that, that's why people, the glorification of the self, they don't realize it. They go, well, I'm just going to quit my job. I hate my job. I've always been funny. And I want to buy... I'm gonna do it, and then they really well. They, well, 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 well. Number one, they're not suited to it. Mm. They don't know what it is. They're not good at anything. They're not. They don't have any value. And then, God forbid, some of them you know beg, borrow, steal, scam, slice, cut their way to something or halfway there. They'll be as miserable as they were. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But let them do it. It's the big lie. It's important. It pushes the country forward. Without it, you wouldn't have cool shit. I mean, you need people to, you know, go after it, so to speak. But it's just this, this, this lie. It's never that happiness is inside you. That would be nice. But that's not good for the economy. Can't tell people that. Happiness is constantly, you got to keep finding that classes and yoga retreats and silent retreats and religion and here's the you know happiness is never that doesn't live inside you what lives inside you is uh, an empire it's an empire that's inside of you and it's just execution you just need to just start with a brisk walk start with a brisk walk cut the carbs cut the sugar a little brisk walk do a little more reading at night no phone time at night natural light more big windows Nice wood. Good acoustics on the wood. Feel that? <laughs> See the acoustics? That's not jarring. It's good wood. Little by little. You go, oh my God, yes. Little self-care, very important. Little eucalyptus, a couple of vitamins, little mint. Very important. See a good friend. Take a walk on the beach. Mm -hmm. Laugh. Why? Because you want an empire.
wait, can I just do all that stuff? No, all of that stuff puts you in a good headspace so you can pillage. <laughs> all of that stuff will put you in the right mindset so you can dominate others, destroying them in order to uh, validate yourself. Yes, you continually eat their souls until you are a big fatty filled with the souls of others. Yes, you eat their dreams, spit them out, shit them out. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, but that's that's the uh, that's the big lie, and that's the whole anti-work movement. I understand that companies fuck with people, and they should pay them fairly, but people have eschewed all social commitments and uh, communities and all that stuff, but what they do is they constantly think, you know, there's this great journey. And listen, some of them will go on a great journey. And I'm not saying that you should ever be prevented from going on a journey, but just be a little realistic. Be a little realistic about uh, what's, what's out there waiting for you. It's a pit of snakes. I left my phone on for you. I've been in the field staring up.